Hey guys, welcome to News Working's new vlog. It's going to be a new addition to the uh, YouTube channel. And uh, today, we're going to shoot episode number one. Uh, right now, I'm using the mic on the uh, Panasonic DVX200. It's a Rode. Uh, I don't know how good you can hear me, but we're going to put in the service a lapel mic, Rode Link. So I'm going to set these up. And then I'm going to come back to you and uh, dis discuss what this uh, new vlog is going to be all about on News Working. Let me get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the uh, lapel mic on. Bars on the uh, screen look okay. We're going to give this a test. Uh, hopefully it sounds better than what you were hearing from the Rode mic connected to the camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. This Rode mic... <laughs> I need some work. I did not like that last couple second clip right there. I ingested it into the into the uh, software and that real fast. We're back using the Rode microphone on the camera. And uh, yeah, we can't do that one. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. This is the new first episode of the News Working Vlog. Uh, I'm gonna be telling a story of fire buffing, news chasing, and my personal life and some of my other businesses in this vlog. It will be on a, a playlist within the channel. Uh, it might be a weekly thing, could be a every couple day uh, ep uh, thing. I, I don't know yet, uh, I'm just off the cuff. Here we go, no script, no nothing. Um, I'm gonna hit the road today. We're gonna go to a major city coming up. Uh, we're gonna shoot the whole day. Um, you're gonna see what I'm eating. You're gonna see me driving, loading up the car, the whole nine yards, just for the first episode. Uh, it's more like a pilot uh, episode. We'll see where it takes us. We'll see if the fans are interested. For uh, nearly 10 years, just about 800 videos on the News Workings YouTube channel, all you ever seen were fire scenes, shootings, uh, armed robbery. Not one video in there, I think you've seen me. So this is what the vlog's all about. It's gonna give some fresh new content uh, in between fires to keep the, uh, the uh, YouTube channel uh, fresh and up to date. We'll talk about all sorts of things. The equipment that you need to do this, how to get into fire buffing or news chasing. Let's hit the road, we'll load up the car, and you'll see what it's like in the life of a news working news stringer and fire buffing. Let's hit the road. Enjoy the episode, guys. That just about does it, but guys, we'll be hitting the road any second. Oh, and one more thing before I hit the road. Gotta plug in a charger in the back seat. Okay, I think we're ready to go. All packed up. Two radios, all the camera equipment, the vest, a little tripod for the iPhone, a little camera that we're gonna put on our belt and always have with us at all times. People, it's important when you're gonna do a vlog, you're gonna need different cameras for different things. This little baby will do the job. It was one of the most popular ones back in the day. The screen flips up so you can actually face it towards you and do your, your vlog. It's small enough that nobody will notice in case you're in a spot where you're not allowed to have video cameras or something like that. Let me, okay, that's what this is for. Usually when I go on vacation, it's always on my side. It's small and uh, very portable and you won't be noticed. In case something happens, you want a quick pull out of camera, here it is. The Gorilla Pod for the Panasonic I'm shooting on right now. Two radios, a pen, a notepad for making notes for different scenes and information you're gonna want for the clips and so forth. Oh, also, you're gonna want drinks. There you have it, people. There you have it. And uh, we gotta make one more stop. 
and that's gonna get uh, a quick bite to eat. Okay, we're ready to go. We got our coffee, gas, and out for the road trip. Yo! Yo! What's going on? <laughs> What's up? There's Jay from First Source News. He's he's my buddy. He goes around to all the fires too, like maybe three a year. But he does it. He does it. Right there he is. You're on my first vlog of news working. Oh boy. There you go. How's that, huh? Right away. Huh? With the camera. With the camera, huh? That's what we're doing. Who are these dogs, man? They almost attacked my shit. Those are crazy dogs, that what about that? Are they yours? Well, they do it for There he is, Jay from First Source News. Ah, look at that face. That's a face only Joe could love. <laughs> oh God. All right, and there is, uh, this is uh, Periscope. Okay, everybody, we are now in Philadelphia. Engine 51, ladder 29, uh, Champlost and Old York Road. I'm getting kind of hungry. It's mid afternoon here in Philadelphia right now, 47 degrees under cloudy skies. So far, that's what the trip entails. Uh, packing up, getting ready to go, getting to uh, your destination. You should have kind of a little bit of a plan on what you want to do. Make sure you have frequencies uh, programmed into your radio, scanners, whatever. Uh, using a scanner app is not the best idea to do uh, because there's such a delay in it. Get yourself a good uh, scanner. I'm using a unit in 396. This is our first stop, engine 51, ladder 29. It's been really quiet in the city since I got here. So uh, we're gonna keep on moseying around. We're even gonna get a cheesesteak, eat it in the car. Let's continue our journey, see what the uh, day brings us. This is what news working's all about, behind the scenes, doing what we, what we gotta do to bring you guys good content. Off to the next uh, station. Okay, making our way south from 51s, we're down at engine 50, Park Avenue and Cambria Streets in North Philadelphia, one of the busiest engine companies in Philly. Uh, not the best neighborhood either, 
I gotta keep my eyes peeled all around me. I'm in a pretty unsafe neighborhood, to say the least. Uh, but I am getting hungry, like I said last night. Uh, I think I'm gonna mosey on up to Torsdale Avenue. Central Bank 32B, 3419 Hoffman Avenue, reduce speed. A lot of this is just uh, sitting in front of firehouses, driving around cities, waiting to uh, wait on the action. We can't do anything till the action comes to us. That's what it's all about. I've already been on the road for uh, at least two and a half to three hours, and uh, still no fires. Coming up on Joe's now. Joe's cheesesteak shop. We're gonna go in there, grab a cheesesteak. I'll eat it in the car. It's right up here at the corner. Just gonna find parking. Let's do this, guys. Twenty minutes later. One thing you gotta do when you're in Philadelphia is grab a cheesesteak, especially when you're fire buffing. Joe's on Torresdale Avenue near Benner. It's gonna be a little messy. People, you gotta see this to believe it. Man, look at that. A large whiz wit. And uh, just how am I gonna eat this messy thing in the car? As yet to be determined, as always. We will manage. Holy. Talk about deliciousness. That's right here. This is going to be one of my favorite. Joe's on Torresdale Avenue up near Benner. You ever come to Philadelphia? Ain't no place builds a cheesesteak like Philadelphia. You ain't getting a real one if you're not here in Philadelphia. Affirmative. That's right, I'm still sitting here eating my cheesesteak. About half to go. And it's about the last bite. That's all she wrote. Maybe this is a food scope, I don't know. And some napkins left over. Put those right down here. Johnny. I even have my little Philadelphia cheat. Good cheesesteak. Let's get this show on the road. Right behind me, the quarters of engine two, ladder three. Uh, the doors are up. Uh, there was no parking before the firehouse. 
So I'm just uh, sitting here uh, 50 feet down from them. So uh, I guess there was a, a fire actually right around the corner here uh, earlier this morning that uh, PFN Mike, Philly Fire News Mike got. I'll hang out here a little bit longer. Uh, we'll hit probably another firehouse or two and then we're gonna call that episode one. We're investigating right now. I'll give you a further report. No permanent. Okay, now that another hour goes by, we're still at engine two, ladder three, second in New York Street. We're gonna head south and um, maybe hit another firehouse. Okay guys, right behind me, or to the left of me, engine 29, medic 15 and rescue one, Gerard Avenue at 4th. That's where this trip brings us right now. We might just be ending it right here, right now, I'm not sure. But uh, you can say I made my way around the city a little bit, and I've uh, been here a few hours, and uh, absolutely no fires. And while we sit in front of their quarters, Medic 15 just uh, responded by. Well, that was okay. luck. Maybe we'll get an engine next. And yes, they uh, have trolleys in service in Philadelphia yet. Repeat back to the Street, fire reported 1016 Cambridge Street as well. Final home response operator, South Fire Band, South Side 1. Engine 13, engine 29, engine 20, engine 27, later 23, later 2, battalion 3. <laughs> in front of engine 29 rescue one's quarters they got dumped out for a reported house fire uh, about five blocks away 1000 block of Cambridge Street uh, was at end of a row uh, fire looked like it started at the back you've seen it here um, that's what I'm talking about perfect timing sit in front of a firehouse I seen all the doors starting to come up I knew they were getting some I could see the guys uh, legs running back and forth before the doors were even three feet up Jumped out, grabbed that footage, left them empty the house, got in the car. Uh, I was only a few blocks away, 
Cambridge is only like a block south of Girard. Uh, got there, they had a they stretched one line, uh, hit the fire. It looked like it was coming up the back of the house. Maybe started outside and uh, scorched the back. So uh, they were just doing some overhauling. They were using one engine, one one ladder. Uh, the rest of the companies proceeded in and stood by. Uh, and that's about all she wrote. So at this point, I think I'm going to be uh, wrapping up here in Philadelphia. And uh, I got a ways to go till I get out of the city. So whatever comes, we'll be, anything comes in now, we'll be doing it. One, two, <sighs> might as well buy a case, a lot of them. I broke the clip <laughs> to the phone today, the belt clip. Well, I'm good with the case. I just needed the belt clip. Okay, back in business. Broke that one clip off. That's my second clip in two weeks, less than two weeks. Okay, people, we're back in business. I think that's gonna end the scope for tonight. I got to the Best Buy before they close, grabbed two of these suckers. And, uh, so be it.